then guess what hopefully we've got sound and we are playing on the Super Nintendo and we're gonna play some games which are reproduction games i.e. they're not the real ones but they do allow you to play the expensive games on a um, Nintendo 64 in this case not 64 uh, Super Nintendo so first game up is Wild Guns uh, if you buy this at uh, CEX unboxed it is 90 pounds nine zero pounds this however is a repo cart which means it is unbelievably cheaper ridiculously cheaper so it's got a for everything's fake about it apart from the cartridge um, but it gives you an opportunity to play games that you would never get a chance to play normally without going down the route of emulation and emulation for me is a sacrilege this is for me the only acceptable form um, of playing these games so Wild Guns got a lot to get through so I've split this into two halves so we've got two halves of this this is part one and part two will be coming up at some point in the future i.e. later on this week okay I've got no power oh that's because I'm not switched on the plug oh god so let's see if we get sound on the game we should game we should game can't really tell at the minute out my uh, system uh, of getting the game onto the Elgato on the PC so oh god it's one of these games it's a bit better with a light gun wouldn't it What's that? It's a western. All the controls everywhere. the Sonic Mega Collection. I sold it earlier on today. So, that was a very exciting Wild Guns. Repo. So yeah, 90 quid. bag of games and we've got Aero Acrobat Aero the Acrobat obviously again repo so how much does Acro Acro 
Error there, Kurabar. Oh, it's a cheap one, this one. It's only 20 quid at CX. Unless it's number two. No, it's not. Number two, unboxed, is £120. This one's cheap, 20 quid. But I've never even heard of it, so it mustn't be. It's not common. Oh, so you can got a label on that one. <laughs> never even heard of this, so definitely never played it before. Skinny larger to that. Oh, it's a glamour again. People who did um, two up. Seven star platforms. Oh. 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 All right, so we need to go well weather. So we're going on over there. Whoa. 
actually quite liking this, I'll be honest with you. It's very snazzy, isn't it? With the, uh, the foreground and the background graphics. I quite enjoyed that one. Sadly, we haven't got all night to play it. Don't forget to join in the chat. Don't forget to like and share. Right, next up, I'm going to put my hand in the bag of excitement and we get Super Probotector Alien Rebels. So, how much is this at CX? Probo Unbox, 18 quid. So, it's not, not that expensive. Did look fun, Richard. I might, I might play that again because it reminded me a little bit of the Adams Family, which I always thought was an underrated game on the SNES. This is a tight fit. So yeah, fairly cheap one this one. Just plunk it in, I think. Let's see what happens. It's either going to work or not work. Not work. Hi James Bug. Long time no see. Hope you're good. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to get my sponsor on this one, I think. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Some of the original cartridges were a bit grubby, mainly because they've been around for ages, but these are fairly recent put together, so they are considerably cleaner. Konami. Let's play. Invest in rubbing alcohol. Now, I'm going to drink alcohol. I invest in, uh, in Windeline. I think 2636. And it's all gone to poo. I think it's what I need to uh, get from that. Oh my word. Oh my god, it's uh, Watch Dogs Legion. The Alien Wars begin. Exclamation mark. 
Bit of time for revenge. That attack aggressively. <laughs> As a falls into attack passively. Oh. That attack aggressively. I thought I said gin, but gin's for drinking. Oh, dead. Wow. This is typical uh, unforgiving 16 bit, isn't it? Oh, you got me again. Dead now, though, aren't you? Oh. Okay. So, we've got a lot to get through. So, apologies, I'm not playing these for too long, but that was Probal Tector. Alien Rebels. So, next up in the bag of mystery is. Oh! This is cool. I had this on the Commodore 64, the first one anyway. Uh, Turrican. This is Turrican 2. Yeah, don't stop shooting, you die in one it. Yeah, thanks, thanks. I figured that one out when I died in one it. Turrican, Turrican, so Turrican 2. Unboxed is £60. So if you bought a real one of these, it'd be £60. If it was boxed from CX. Oh no, that's an NES run SNES. No, it's got to be. It's got to be a typo, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, they put NES, but it's NES. Uh, if it's a real one, it would be 60 quid unboxed, 200 quid boxed. So there, it's got a label on it anyway. Not a shiny label, but a label nonetheless. Pop it in, pop it out, pop it in again. Uh, no, someone, uh, one of my regulars traded him in. at this rate every time I put the bottle up uh, condensation drips off it and lands the location a small star system floating in the endless spiral arms of a black hole little do the inhabitants of the planets know about the menacing hordes of the machine fleeing through the outer regions of the known galaxy the villain finds his next victims found his next victims civilizations were destroyed in an instant and the whole system fell under the spell of evil just a few tiny cries for help escaped the boundaries of the system the USS Avalon flagship of the United Freedom Forces. The hero of many rescue souls are restlessly waiting for the final encounter with their long-time arch enemy. As the sirens yell across the hangars, three ships blast off into the unknown. Hi, XO. Enter the face of Black Order Man for the fight to the final challenge. Even though allegedly Turrican's coming back. I think Turrican was of its age. I don't think he's coming back necessarily. It's going to be a good thing.
Seconds later, only one of the ships escapes the mighty powers of the Black Oil. Badly damaged and burning, your ship hurdles towards the devastated Doom world. Equipped with your turret and assault suit, you jump into action against an army of darkness. It's far too Red Alright, that's a jump. Hold on, what? Right, I've got a super bomb thing, haven't I? Oh, this looks very much like um, the Star Wars game we played earlier. Same, isn't it? Oh, I'm dead. To be fair, that was better than I remember it, and I didn't use the the band thing thing that he had, like the bionic commando thing. Again, only people of a uh, should hope so. Uh, Any, you've got school tomorrow. Don't forget to like if you haven't already. It's a tight fit, this one. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Tight fit. Oh, God. Ah, there we go. So that was uh, Super Turrican. Oh, uh, uh, two. Super Turrican. Oh, that was Super Turrican 2. So, yeah, 60 quid unboxed. Right, next up. These these are not the price I'm charging by the way, just to clarify. Hag Hagain, the final conflict. No one I've never heard of. Hagain the final conflict. Unboxed. A, a legitimate one, remember these are all repos. A legitimate one of them at CX is a hundred quid. Oh, lots of pictures on the back, so it looks like some kind of shoot 'em up. But I've never heard of it. Remember, never blow on the cartridges. Because it won't work. Except when they do. <laughs> I'll get another story. I like a good story. It's very peaceful, isn't it? Oh. Oh no, it's gone to poop again. I don't shop at any other shop other than my own shop. What the hell is that? It's 
Is that the head of Bo? Oh! Pill necessary. <laughs> Right, what's this game about? Oh, it's Strider. With a bit of uh, Shinobi. Oh, blow that up. It gives me fire. Ha! Can't mess with me, boy. Very, again, another very Super Nintendo kind of game. Oh, Christ! This is alright, actually. Again, there might be a few of these that I think, you know, I'll do their own thing on, you know, in the future. So we'll have a night where we just play like two or three of these and see how far we get. At the moment, I'm literally just testing them. That's all it's about. So that was the uh, slightly rude, <laughs> slightly rude game where they did a little trump at the beginning of Hang Game. Hang Game. I imagine that game gets better as it gets on. So that might be one I come back to at some point. Assuming I don't sell it in the meantime. Right, next up is. Ooh! Turtles 4. Turtles in time. Yeah, but they've not necessarily come far enough. They're not necessarily better than what they were back in the day. They're just... You know. Yeah. Now, Turtles in time, I'm sure we all know, costs an absolute fortune. Gotta put time. Oh, does it straight away? Okay. Um, 60 quid unboxed. It's a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I'll be honest. I was expecting it to be a lot more than that. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I've got the stream making same flashing images to cover myself. I've got it on this one. Properties. Oh no, not properties. Um, order. Move to bottom. No, no, that hasn't. Okay, so we'll add. Text. Red warning. There you go. Shrink that down a lot. says it on that one as well. The stream may contain flashing images. Let's have a go. Oh, Teenage Mutants use the time. <laughs> A 
exactly, um, Richard. The, back in the day, they had to uh, rely on gameplay because the graphics were rubbish. Nowadays, they rely on the graphics and the gameplay is rubbish. So you play a game that looks really good or really nice. That's just gone right in there. Dripping off here. Oh, it's cold. Is that me? I'm not actually doing anything, am I? So do we have Leo, Mike, oh Angelo, Don, Don, Atello, Ralph, oh Raphael, go for Raphael. This is April and we're recording. That's Shredder. Yeah, Shredder. Hey, Shredder. Bring that statue back. Beanbag. Oh, you bloated beanbag. <laughs> Big Apple. 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. 3 a.m. It's 3 a.m. You turn now Agents of Moon. Cyrus was in this game. Came in like a wrecking ball. It's moving backwards and forwards, isn't it? Now he's not getting near me. Oh, he got by, he got by his own wrecking ball. This is that. Oh, got myself. Okay. To be fair, this is better than that other one I was playing on. Well, it would be because it was on the, the Nintendo. A bit of 3D there. Uh, the NES, wasn't it? I was playing the other day. This is one of my favourite consoles of all time. Right, next in the lucky dip is... Oh, Mega Man. Seven. Mega Man. Seven. I was saying before, uh, I had... Uh, I played Mario. Um, in the old shop. And I got to the tenth castle, Super Mario on the uh, Super Mario World on the SNES. Got to the last castle, and I was just about to play, it and someone came in and bought it. Human. 
But I needed the money, so I sold it anyway. That was fuming. Fuming! I was fuming. Oh, it's blue circuit board, this one. See, all these are repos, none of these originals. Um, what's this one? Mega Man 7. What's this worth? On the CEX website. Mega Man 7 unboxed £120. Unboxed. Oh, I missed the story then. Good. Can this thing go any faster? Since he's under attack. I tried the cheat up adapter with that. I can't believe Willie's loose again. Won't this man manage to stop? What? He won't be loose for long. Once Dr. White gives Rush and me our new announcements, Willie is, is history. Whoa! End up in line. The road is too unstable, so keep going. You two wait here. Make it up, take the cellmate with you. So Mega Man's a boy. Good luck, Mega Man. No. Do the dollar, huh? Are you okay? I'll bring back roll to take care of you. It's for the Christmas. Behind the dam, Willie is using the attack of his robots to cover his escape. Look! It's the doctor now. Buddy, give us a chance. Well, I can't do anything. First 
and a little buddy annihilated me from the makers of other Mega Man games comes Mega Man 7 but not technically from the makers of Mega Man because it's a repo right next up is UN Squadron again if you just joined us these are all repos don't forget to like share subscribe I like the label on that one that's a nice label which is UN Squadron so I'm trying to think whether I had this one or not not so sure. Showing you doesn't help, does it? Because you don't know what I had and what I didn't have. Why would you? Don't think we're off well yet. Reproduction. There's loads of reproduction cards out there. You have to be careful because some shops sell repos as if they're the real thing. Mainly on the Game Boy to be fair. Um, but they're not. If I get a repo in, I always sell it cheap. And I always sell it for... Uh, I always let people know buying it that it is a repo. UN Squad. No, you've changed. Why have you changed that to. Right, there we go. It's only 20 quid this one. Let's see this. Oh no, I'm in danger. 
the hell is that? Squadron, which is a decent shoot em up. So one thing we miss nowadays is a good shoot em up. We don't really get them. Right, well, how many have we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 left, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's about right. Now. So we're going to go in and we're going to pick up. Oh! Rock and Rocky 2, which I know is 80 quid at CX. I don't even have to look that one up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. So a rock and rocky. I've actually got a genuine rock and rocket in the shop too. This one is a reproduction. So it is a fraction of the cost. Just went in my eye then. Oh, that was quick. Published by Ocean. Hello, John Higginbottom. What a bit. I don't care about the Harvest Festival, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, okay. I've played this before because I've played the actual 70 quid version of it. Stage two already. He's just given the world. Uh, Pocky and Rocky 2 the sequel to the also forgettable Pocky and Rocky 1 which I think might be on the bottom row of this as well, I think we've got that as well something to look forward to next time maintain your enthusiasm <laughs> right, back in the bag of mystery This one is Ninja Warriors Repo. These boxes are all right, but um, I'm going to do some. the 
Fox who doesn't spend his money. He's Titus. Titus. I think it's uh, it's not YouTube. I think it's Virgin Media. Because they've done nothing but mess me around for the last couple of nights. Just read that and not do the voices for this one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We've got to 80 yet. Subs. Oh, hang on, I've not done the price on this one. Um, Ninja Warrior. Ninja Warrior's the new generation. Forty pounds. All right, this is a different game. Obviously, this isn't because it's a repop, so it's like dirt cheap. Like I said before, if you've just joined us, uh, I don't have an issue with repos because I think they're better than actual emulators because you're playing them on the right software, uh, the, the right hardware. Sorry, with the crappy controller and the blowing the cartridges, so you get the full effect without paying 140 quid for it. It's just Ninja Warriors won this. So it might not be that price. Maybe they don't do it. Maybe they've done it separate. Ah, let's have a look. No, they haven't. So the only SNES Ninja W is this. I'm not being uh, a bit him. Six foot, 220 pounds. You ain't gonna get me. Wow. Let's cut the characters in. This one are quite big, aren't they? And there's no. It's, it's very 2D. bike and throw the bike. Yeah, that'll teach you. Why do you keep going back, 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 back? It's like he's playing tennis. Uh, oh. I picked the right guy for the job, didn't I? Right, we can damage them. No. It's like battlefielders. Okay. I like the baddies' uniforms, they are quite smart little uh, waistcoat on, his little berry and his little red gloves. Face. 
Why are the rockets still falling inside the building? It's just the cartridge. Although, all because these are just cartridges, the prices I'm giving you are just cartridges. Oh! He was a bit hot headed. Thank you. I'm here on moments. That was actually quite good, Ninja Warriors. Quite like that one. So. Finding that wasn't there. What are you doing that for? Uh, ninja War Ninja Warrior. Uh, uh, mint in a box, 550 quid. No, it's a different game. This Pro Protectors 2. So the cover's different. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's the same game. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Although it was good. I'd, I'd you know, I'd balk at paying like 15 quid for it or whatever as a repo, never mind. 100 and whatever it was right next up is zero it's looking a lot a lot like Christmas everywhere I go this is zero now we know this works because I used this to test the sound out earlier When I was doing my resetting up my new setup. Is it the bat out of that bat game we played before? Aero the Acrobat. Devil Jack the Sheets. Jack the Sheets. That's a twist of plots who counterfeit money. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? But it's a counterfeit game. Um, Master Zero, full arsenal ninja weapons, jet skis, room space, make Zero. Uh, make Zero's flying squirrel attack more fierce than ever. So, it's any similarity to uh, Arrow the Acrobat. Purely coincidental. So, we don't start in the Sioux. Well, yeah, exactly. Kids would take the cartridge out of the box. They put the box maybe you know, on the bedroom um, chest of drawers or on the floor or something, and then brother and sister would come in, smash it all up, not deliberately, and then mum would come around with a bin bag every six months and just chuck them all away, but keep the cartridges. So I'm a ninja squirrel. I knew that. Come on. 
Oh, for God's sake. Right, so this is the zero win, this is just zero. Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Unboxed. £50 for this game, unboxed. Let's see it. So, I'm going to see if I can get uh, in that thing and see where it takes us. People have killed it, they're already dead. They're still dead. Oh, the bolts. The, the, oh, that's annoying. So that's what it would have took us, it would have took us all the way to them. Right up. Quite good, I quite enjoyed that. Alright, next up is Super Mama Man 3. CX Super Bam a man three
cap it, don't we? Here we are. Another completely pointless story. So that the clangers asleep. Is that thing underneath me? Oh no, got myself. Oh no, I've got myself. Pick it up. No. Um, OBS El Gato. Thank you. 
that okay so that is um, Bomberman 3 Super Bomberman 3 remember these are all repos so I was concentrating that out on the game man. there's only two left <gasps> Robocop versus Terminator Forty pound unboxed. Maybe it's original. She's not. is a grubby one. Might be because it's been played a lot because it's Robocop versus Terminator. I wouldn't know. Interplay presents from the makers of Who's a good and who's a baddie? John Connor was right. It was what? By like human or something. That turned Skynet from a tool into an army of Terminators. Oh, was it Robocop who did it? A human mind. Merged with software. Yeah. So Robocop is Skynet, okay. And then link to Skynet. It was a man. Interesting haircut he's got. Feels very angry, doesn't he, as well? An ex cop named Alex Murphy. Why has he got no shit on? Got a silly haircut as well. Balding in the yeah, we're, 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 all, we're all going balding there. Float activity is the time displacement equipment. Transporting her back before it all started. Back before Skynet terminators and the war. Woman had uh, the woman has made it back. She'll be back. Make no mistakes. Hi Dale. Everything is in peril. Prepare the terminators. Time displacement successful. First objective. Find and terminate human soldier known as Flo. Second objective. Find Robocop. Destroy body and force integration. Interrogate with the Skynet.
Five. You're kidding me. Better alive, you're coming to me. dark, isn't it? Is that a good oath or a bad oath? at the beginning. Look at that. <laughs> it's getting light. Oh. It's getting light, boys, girls. So I think the final game tonight is going to be, funnily enough, final Fight 2. Final Fight 2. £120 unboxed. Fight Night 2, uh, Final Fight 2, last game of the night. Not too bad. That was by Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh, these. This is the PAL version, but like I say, all repo. Oh, Zelda is in there. That's for next time. So there's plenty more to come. Don't have funny.
Hegar, Meki, and Garlas. I'll go for the one that I look more like. Hong Kong. graphics on this are really big aren't they? The characters and there's no flickering. Very little anyway. You got me. Probably. Oh, and again. And again. What's going on? I've got a new move. I've just learned. Stop kissing me. Oh, I'm dead. Right. So there you go then, that was a night of a thousand games. Fourteen games, the night of fourteen games. So which was your favourite? Squadron. I quite like that weird high game game. Um, but I think we've got better coming tomorrow or next time. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Share and subscribe. Being the main things. But yeah, it's been good fun. I've enjoyed it tonight. Uh, appreciate your input as always. Uh, it's quite, quite an early finish tonight, but I'll be honest with you, I've been on for an hour and a half. So if we did another hour and a half, it'd be two o'clock. Um, and I don't think any of you will be left. And we've all got work tomorrow, or most of us anyway. So a big thanks to uh, Richard Platts, uh, Retro Unlimited, Carly Holmes, Tough TV, Dale Micklewhite, um, Jack Hayeth, Any.
Doing a lot of talking, aren't you? Anyone else? Uh, Echo? Uh, Echo. Exo. Ed. And James Bug. Apologies if I forgot anyone. Um, so, yeah. Take care. Look after yourselves. Uh, stay safe. And all being well, we'll be back to do part two in the nearish future. So until then, get off my remote. Until then. <laughs>